Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this snowy mountain cabin scene using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we've got here is I've downloaded this free vector from freepick.com and I've opened it up in Illustrator. The next thing that I need to do is I need to move all the important elements to a new layer and I'll show you an example. So let's say for example, I have the house here. All I need to do is drag it to a new layer and I need to do that for everything that's important in this clip. Now, once you're done, you can rename the layers here or you can do it in After Effects, but I'm just gonna do it here quickly. Now, once you're done, all you need to do is save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and bring it into After Effects. So now we're in After Effects and all we have to do is import our files. So we can go right click file and then find our file. So once you've imported your file, all you need to do is import it as a composition and keep the layer size. And now when you double click your house down here, you can see that you have all your elements that you saved before. Now I've labeled them in Illustrator so they pop up here. The first thing that we need to do is we need to come over here to our composition settings and make sure that we change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and I'm just going to keep my duration at 10 seconds. So then I'm just going to press OK. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and right click and create a new null object and then we need to parent all of those elements to the null object. Then we can come over to the null object, press S for scale and just drag it until it fits the entire composition. So now we've got a nice scene ready to go. So the first thing that we need to do is now we need to start to create the smoke. So I'm just going to come over here and create a new solid. I'm just going to leave it as red so just so I can see it a little bit easier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my ellipse tool and I'm just going to make sure that I click the ellipse tool and then I change the stroke to none and I change the fill to white. And once I've done that, then I can just draw a small circle on my screen. And now we're gonna start to animate this circle. So the first step of animation that we need to do is we are going to press P on our keyboard for a position keyframe. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start it at the bottom, okay? And then I'm gonna move forward in time to about two seconds. And then I'm just going to bring it up to the top just like that so it's a very simple animation and there's not much going on to that the next thing that we need to do is we need to press s for scale and so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to set the stopwatch at the first keyframe here and i'm going to set the scale to zero i'm going to move forward in time to about one second then i'm going to bring it up to 100 percent and then i'm going to go to the end which should be in, in line with the position uh, animation and I'm going to bring it back down to zero. So now if I press U on my keyboard, I can see all of my keyframes and all we have is a simple animation that comes in and comes out. So now what I need to do is I need to click on the position and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little bit of a curve. So I'm just going to curve both those sides just like that. So now we've got like a little bit of a uh, bit of movement to that animation. So all we have to do now is just duplicate that. I'm going to press U on my keyboard for uh, all of my keyframes. I'm going to move forward in time and I'm just going to change up a few things. So for example, the position, I'm just going to maybe make it come out a little bit more and I'm just going to drag this out as well. So now I've got like these two balls which are kind of moving together at the same kind of pace. And so all I'm gonna do is just duplicate that again, press U, maybe move it forward in time. And now I'm just gonna play around with some of these uh, keyframes. So I'm gonna hold Alt, and just going to bring it a little bit closer together. And I'm gonna do the same thing as well for the position. I'm gonna just come over here and make sure that I click on the position. And then I'm just going to change maybe some of the direction, just so it, it's a little bit different. So now we've got these three balls going at the same time, and we're just gonna duplicate that again. So I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate, 
and then U on my keyboard for position. And then I'm just going to drag this out. So I'm going to hold Alt, maybe drag it out to roughly around about three seconds. And I'm going to have a look at what that looks like. I'm going to maybe move it forward in time. And it's looking all right. Look, it's looking pretty cool but we can definitely add some more stuff to it. So I'm just gonna come over here to my first shape layer and I'm just going to duplicate that and then put it right at the top. Press U on my keyboard for all of my keyframes and then I'm just going to, you know, slot it in there nicely. So now we have something that looks like that. So now once you have all of that, what we need to do is we need to make sure that that loops so we can do this with by adding an expression. So if I hold Alt and click on that stopwatch, and if I look for the expression loop out, then I just have to press tab, open up my uh, quotations, and then what we need to search for is cycle. So I'm just gonna press tab again. And so all I'm going to do is just copy and paste that to all of my expressions. So all I have to do is just hold Alt on each one, you could even highlight them all and do them all at once. So you can see here that that loop out cycle will just continuously, you know, pump out those uh, pieces of smoke to create that smoke effect. So moving on, the next thing that we have to do is we just have to apply some effects to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press U on my keyboard till I get all of my shape layers and then I'm just going to press Control D to, to duplicate them and then I'm going to hold Control and press the end bracket key to bring them up to the top and then I'm just going to move this forward in time just so I get more of those balls coming out and I'm just going to repeat that step again. So I'm just going to move forward in time and I'll do it one more time just so it looks something like that. And so now we, it's like we have a constant stream of, uh, you know, smoke plumes coming out. So that's looking pretty good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose all of those shape layers. So right click, go to pre-compose and I'm just going to call it smoke. And then we need to look for an effect called fast box blur. And I'm just going to change the blur radius to about 12. So it just softens the edges. And now once you've done that, the next thing that we can do is we can add a curves in. So if we search for curves and then we go to our effects, we change the channel to alpha. And what we need to do is I'm just going to bring it down here and then I'm just going to bring it up just like that. So you can see what happens here. You know, the more I go this way, you can see how blurry it kind of gets. But then if I start to bring it back this way, you can see it's a little bit sharper. So you just want to find that middle ground, which is a little bit sharp and maybe a little bit soft at the same time. So experiment with that until you're happy with, uh, you know, your effect. So my effect, you know, is looking all right. I'm pretty happy with it. So I don't need this uh, red solid anymore. So I can delete that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it just there underneath my house. And you know what? We can actually just put it below the actual house layer. So I'm just going to put it like that. And I might just change the scale down a little bit. So it looks something like that. Cool. So now if, we're, if I preview that, you can see that, you know, it looks like, you know, the smoke is coming out of the, the chimney. And I think that's looking really, really good. The final thing that we are going to do is we are just going to animate the snow coming down. So there are a few ways to do this, but I'm just going to uh, duplicate this layer by pressing Control D. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the snow up to about there. So once you've duplicated the snow once, I'm just going to press Control D to duplicate it again. And then what I'm going to do is just I'm going to move it up into the, roughly the same position of where I moved the first one up before. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. So just press P and then just move it up again till it's roughly around about there. So now what's happening is 
You've got four layers of snow all on top of each other and this will be used for our animation. So all we need to do now is we just need to come over here and create a new null object. So right click, create a new null object. I'm just gonna put it just above my snow layers. Grab all my snow layers and then come over here and, and parent them to the null object. And then I'm just gonna press P on my keyboard for position. And now what I'm going to do is animate that snow falling. So I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna to move to the end of my animation and I'm just gonna bring it all the way down. So now we will go through four layers of snow and now if you preview that, you can see that the snow is falling and we've got our chimney producing smoke and it's looking pretty nice. But anyways guys, that's about it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this very simple tutorial on how to animate some smoke and snow on your snowy mountain cabin scene. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.